Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. This will be for September 2022 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone, so just take what resonates with you as always. So let's see what we have for Aries, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides for September 2022. Okay. So we have self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So that's your first message, Aries. Let's see what else we get for you. So I'm going to pull from the Archangel Michael deck. What do we have for Aries, please? Message for Aries for September 2022. Thank you. That turned over really quickly. So we have, you and your loved ones are safe. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and, and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus upon my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. Okay, Aries, let's pull you a destiny card and see what message we have for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides for September 2022. As always, remember these are mainly messages and they won't be for everyone, so just take what resonates with you as always, Aries. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Destiny card for Aries for September. Thank you. Two cards. Okay. We have, the first one is taking risks. With that, Aries, we have success. So let's read the success card for you. <clears throat> success, bear with me. <clears throat> I'm suffering from allergies, so just bear with me. Okay, so we have success. Satisfaction, contentment and fulfillment are at hand. Success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready to accept and embrace this success, for it might occur rapidly. All is possible. The gates of triumph are waiting to open. Being in a state of gratitude for all the small successes in your life will give birth to the larger ones. Your satisfaction will come in many forms and from many areas of life. Celebrate it all and breathe it all in, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. This is an excellent time to make commitments, sign contracts, and make deals. Good fortune will ensue. I mean, that's a lovely energy. Something to do with taking risks, or maybe something that you feel like you're taking a chance on. Again, take what resonates with you here, Aries, but there's a strong energy here of their success here. So let's pull your spirit animal let's see what we have for Aries what is the spirit animal for Aries please for September 2022 thank you that flew out love that we have hummingbird joy lighten up it's a really uplifting energy the hummingbird card so Lovely that that's come out. So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else we get here, Aries. Message for Aries, please, for September 2022. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries, September 2022. Okay, we have the King of Swords. The devil. Three of cups. 
bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Swords. There's a feeling here, Aries, of, of breaking free. Yeah, I mean, this, this feels like layers, layers to this message, but the devil can be some kind of unhealthy, toxic influence, person, um, situation that's in your life. And really with that King of Swords, there is an opportunity to see it for what it is, you know. And by seeing for what it is, this is an energy of, of well, this is what I need to do. I need to put some plan into action. I need to make choices and decisions about my future here. That sword with the King of Swords sees truth. The devil is that kind of illusionary energy that we give power to, you know, uh, whether it's addiction, whether it's a person in our life, could be work, could be love, romance, relationship. We allow it to have power over us in some way. Um, but this is the energy here where you have the opportunity to take the high ground, make the right choices for you and decisions, and really put a plan into action here, um, making choices about your future and taking steps in the right direction for you by being in truth. There's a strong energy here of breaking free of some kind of hold that that someone or a situation has hold over you. This could be a toxic boss, toxic work environment, unhealthy relationship, unhealthy friendship, again, whatever this would be, because we do have the card of friends here as well with the Three of Cups. Um, something that's not serving your highest good and an opportunity to make the right choice for you, I'm feeling. Now again, this King of Swords could also be somebody who's giving you advice. So that's what I'm getting here quite strongly. Because the Eight of Swords represents somebody who feels trapped, you know, who who doesn't necessarily want to see the situation for what it is. Uh, somebody who feels trapped in their own head, in their own reality, who hasn't moved forward. But there is a feeling here of breaking free of that with the King of Swords energy. So that's what I'm getting quite strongly here, Aries. Um, and the Three of Cups, it can be friendships. So again, friendships could be linked with the devil. For others of you, this can be uh, friendships or kindred spirit energy celebrating, um, telling you, you know, people may have told you already, this is no good for you. Leave, walk away, break free, take the risk on the unknown. It is this kind of energy here if some kind of risk is taken here because this is somebody who is scared about breaking free of that comfort zone, um, who is, is not moving forward for a number of reasons, fear, doubt, familiarity, whatever that situation is. So there is a feeling here of there is an opportunity to find joy, lighten up here. But self-sabotage is when we give in our moments of weakness, in our moments of doubt. The devil preys on that kind of energy, you know. Um, and we can make, you know, lesser choices that don't serve our highest good. So there is a feeling here of an opportunity to break free and claim some success over this devil energy. So I am going to pull you a little angel message. Thank you. Your angels will only give you the challenges that you are capable of handling. So you've, at whatever this situation is that, that's affecting you, there's a feeling that truth will out, victory is yours this month. Uh, there's a strong indication here of you overcome the thing that has challenged you and there's celebration because of it, because you're, you're breaking free of some kind of negative potentially repeating cycle or negative toxic influence. Uh, and there's a, f a wonderful energy here of, of ready to take the chance on, on the unknown, I'm feeling in that energy. 
What else do we have for Aries? Let's pull you an angel number. What do we have for Aries, please? Message for Aries. We have 1222, two, two, so that number might mean something to you, Aries. We have, this is a sign to take a step outside of your comfort zone. Oh my goodness, isn't that in line with the reading? So 1222. Two, two. What feels comfortable to you now may not be the best for you later. Have confidence in this new direction you are taking, as it will lead to higher rewards than you could have ever imagined. Yeah, I mean, it's such a lovely energy. There's something about breaking free of, of a situation that hasn't been serving your highest good and being ready to do that this month for the majority of you. Okay, let's pull, let's finish off with a message from heaven for you. Okay, final message for Aries. We have trust, love and appreciate yourself. Show respect for you. Number 16. And bottom of the deck, Aries, we have seek professional help. If you need to, all will be well. Number 18. Again, the King of Swords can be a person that you're connecting to as well, male or female. Uh, this is somebody who stands for truth. Um, so is very good at giving advice, uh, whether it's kind of like counselling, whether it's to do with uh, legal matters um, or a friend or family matter, family member who might be giving you some advice for your highest good. This is somebody who might be showing you the way forward if it's not the energy that you're adopting here. That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful September, Aries. I will see you next time. Thank you.